Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the weapons of hot dogs, horseshoes and hand grenades. Today we're taking a look at this guy. This is a very famous submachine gun and uh, it's honestly bigger than I would have expected initially. I always imagined it being smaller when I was uh, younger. But today we're looking at the classic IWI or IMI, I can't remember, UZ. So, the Uzi was a submachine gun, is a submachine gun rather, developed in Israel for uh, their defense forces. Um, it was uh, developed by a guy called Uzi Guai or something like that, I believe. Not spelled U Z I, but U E Z I, if I'm not wrong. Don't quote me on that. And the Israelis, they wanted a submachine gun, of course. And uh, they developed a simple-to-use submachine gun, open bolt. It was developed in the late four 40s, early 50s, so of course it's open bolt. It's only in the like 60s, 70s that we really get into the more complicated closed bolt systems, like the MP5. So uh, for the UZ, they went open bolt. And it's gone through a lot. Of course, the Israelis, they used it until the 2000s. So it was in the Six Day War and various other wars, and tanky crews used this as well. The CIA ordered a bunch of these as well for use in Southeast Asia in covert operations, which I believe includes Vietnam. And I believe, I believe this is the Uzi, I might be wrong, it was famously used by uh, some secret service uh, in the US. But I might be wrong about that. So don't quote me on it. But that's basically the Uzi in short history. It's uh, seen a lot of use. It's very famous for various reasons. Video games as well, of course. But uh, here we have the Uzi, classic Uzi, in hot dogs, horses, and hand grenades. And this is just the regular Uzi. There are other variants of the Uzi, but we won't take a look at that today. This has a wood stock. It's rather big, but it is a, a submachine gun. It's chambered in this round, which I can't remember which is. Yes, 9mm Parabellum. Famous cartridge, of course. Magazine goes in the grip, just like a pistol. And uh, it has a safety here. You have a uh, safe semi and full auto, but I don't know which one. Safe, semi, full auto. You have a bolt handle up top. Open bolt, so... Uh, it stays open when you cock it. It has a uh, aperture sight, and uh, yeah, that that's really it for features. It has a wibbly, wibbly wobbly swing swivel there, wibbly wobbly swing swivel there. It has for uh, those that want it. Is it this way? No, it's definitely this way. Can you not attach it? I would imagine you could attach it. It's literally in... I guess not. I guess it does not have a suppressor that works. Oh! You do. Aha! Just a bit wonky uh, to get it fitting. You have a suppressor as the only attachment. Makes it a lot less compact. Very quiet though. It is, despite it being still chunkier than expected, it's still a rather compact submachine gun. Which is uh, impressive. It's an old one. Being 9mm parabellum, it's also not very uh, heavy on the recoil. It does not look uh, open on empty, though, sadly. So uh, you have to grab a new mag. Recock it, which I already did. The charging handle, though, not reciprocating, unlike the Thompson, which, or the classic 1928 Thompson, which also has a charging handle up top, non reciprocating. And uh, if you pull it back, nothing happens, of course. Very controllable, even in full auto, which is very nice. So, the Uzi, it's, uh, 
it's gone through a lot of history. Of course, being uh, an Israeli weapon, it's gone through a lot of wars, wars. As we know, not to get too political, Israel has gone through a lot of wars. Wars, but in the 2000s, got phased out, replaced by the Tavor, and uh, now the UZ sees play fun in other places, used in other places still, but uh, no longer with the Israeli Defense Force. But uh, I think I'm gonna end it here. Simple enough on the Uzi. It's a famous weapon, and I'm sure lots of people enjoy this weapon, especially here in Hot Talks Horses and Hand Grenades. So, I hope you all enjoyed uh, watching this quick video. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and all of that, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!